Now, President Biden speaking with voters in Harrisburg today. CBS 21's Elise Person was there where she found out what matters most to voters this election. Hundreds came out to the AFSCME Union headquarters to hear President Biden speak. So I got the chance to speak with some of the voters here, and they tell me they plan to back Biden no matter what. Four more years! Four more years! President Biden making a stop in Harrisburg for his first campaign appearance in Central PA of the year. He was joined by the First Lady, Senator John Fetterman, and members of Congress. So we got a lot to do, folks, but we can do it. We're on the cusp of getting so much done. But Biden says voters will have to wait for a big campaign speech. We have a lot to talk about. I'm not going to make a campaign speech now, but just to say two things. And one of those things, bringing about fair taxes for the wealthy. One of the things we're going to change in the second term is we're going to have a fair tax system. The fact of the matter is, Trump wants to give him another, and he's said it, a $5 trillion tax cut over the next five years. Biden says they plan to use that $5 trillion for child care and supporting the elderly. Biden and Fetterman both highlighted the importance of unions and how stronger unions make for a stronger economy. The latest polling numbers, according to 538, have Trump leading Biden by a little over two points. But voters at Sunday's event say they're backing Biden 100 percent. There is no way I could ever support Donald Trump, no matter what. I want to vote for a president who I can trust. And ultimately, a convicted felon is not someone who I can vote for. Following the June 27th debate, some have called for President Biden to back out of the nomination. Some here had mixed feelings about that. 90 minutes of a debate is not at all a demonstration of four years of a very successful presidency. We're too late in the game. There's no way that we can change anything now. And, you know, I think that because of President Biden's track record and what he's accomplished in these, uh, I guess, three years, uh, you know, you know, he is he promised a lot during 2020 and he's delivered on a lot. Well, I was definitely very concerned uh, during and after the uh, debate the other night. But having thought about it, I, you know, it's it's not my decision. And so I will support uh, President Biden's decision. And the president is headed back to Washington after today's event. As for what the schedule looks like for former President Trump, well, on Tuesday, he's headed to Florida for a rally. And then this upcoming Saturday, he's actually going to be in Butler, Pennsylvania for another rally this week. Reporting in Harrisburg, I'm Elise Person. All right. Thanks so much, Elise. And Pennsylvania Senator John Fetterman also gave some remarks at events earlier today. He says he's proud to be standing with the president. Then the crowd started chanting for more years. Four more years, four more years. How great was I two, four years ago? You want four years, you know, you want four more years of that mess and that kind of chaos? Now he says uh, now a man is obsessed with revenge, presumably about former President Donald Trump. Well, earlier today, President Biden gave some brief statements to campaigners in Philadelphia, and he arrived in Philly this morning before heading to a church service. He attended the Mount Airy Church of God in Christ, where he spoke about the importance of black history. Take a listen to this. While there are those who want to erase history, Kamala and I want to make it. Because black history is American history. Biden went on to say we're all created equal and deserve to be treated with dignity and respect.